how I met, uh, how I how I got to meet Boosie. Yeah. So how I got to meet Boosie was my first time in Atlanta. I ended up sleeping outside. I'm gonna tell you why because you know I was about to ask why. Like, I, yeah. Why the fuck you sleeping outside? I, I went, um, I was hitting these dudes up. I was hitting this. Uh, that's why I say networking is key. I was hitting these directors up, hitting them up, hitting them up. Nobody had, nobody was answering me, but a dude named Show Out. Shout out to Show Out, forever love, bro. Um, Show Out answered me. He said, if you could get on set by 12 o'clock, I got you. I'll put you on set as an extra. I'm in Baltimore, though, in my bed, 8 in the morning. I'm deadbeat broke. I probably got like $137 in my name at the time. It's like a year and a half ago. I go to book the flight. I'm going. I, I already decided myself, I'm going. I'm already knee deep in. I'm going, right? The flight was like 1.30, so it was a little bit less than what I had. <laughs> I said, oh, shit. God willing. We don't got no hotel, no Airbnb, I'm te- fuck I'm it. going. <laughs> so I go to set, I, um, I get there, I'm thinking like, Boosie not even probably, gonna, he ain't even gonna be here. I get to set, motherfucker in there eating Popeyes, talking and shit. So I didn't wanna like crowd him, so I, I walk past him, you know, I go, I go find out where I have to go. Find out um, uh, what scenes I'm doing and, and where I gotta be. Um, to the to the to the AD, the AD name was Quisha. Shout out Quisha. Um, I go find out where I'm going. I go back to the back to the uh, you know the set room. I sit in there for a minute. I said, No, nah, I don't know if I'm gonna see him again. I'm gonna go introduce myself. I go introduce myself, you know. And he asked me if I came all the way up there just to work. Yeah, I came over up here just to work, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, later that day, I got a picture with him, asked him for a picture, and I um, I was talking to these females in the room, and they were saying like, you know, a lot of a lot of uh, this. They were saying like a lot of dudes uh, be lying about what they got and you know they they status and they life and so on and so forth. So. They was asking me, like, you know, what's going on with you? Like, shit, yeah. broke, just got out this moment. That's how I started, you heard? What are you I'm, talking I'm about? A, I'm, I'm a broke traveling actor. I'm trying to I'm trying to get to the screen. You uh-huh. know, I'm, I'm grinding, so on and so forth. I ain't even got nowhere to sleep to not tell uh-huh. the show. I'm, when they, I'm talking about fine. Like, most most people don't want yeah. you know? I'm telling them everything, you know? So, I guess one of them told him, mm-hmm. or maybe somebody told him, I'm not sure, but because anyway, I was like first I was at the airport, but then I I ended up getting to this little motel. I slept outside of the Motel Eight. Mm-hmm. I never forget either. It was this cat. It was like a striped orange cat out there with me. She had a big ass head, and I um I had some fries, like you know the little potato wedges joints. I was throwing the cat fries. She wasn't cat wasn't eating the fries. You better than me, cause I've been saving a motherfucking fries. Was, hey, he was trying to keep me company. I, the only day I was, it was, it was summertime, so I wasn't even tripping. Okay, okay, you know, yeah, so it, it ain't that bad. It ain't that it ain't bad. That so bad, I'm like, I, I sleep outside, I ain't even tripping. So the next day, I heard him talking about a party. Um, I ain't give a fuck about the party. I don't want. I don't care about the party. I don't even party like that on a regular. Right. I just need somewhere to sleep tonight while we film. That's you know? So I uh. I see him in the courtyard, and then he like leaving the courtyard. I see a couple people walk away from him immediately. I, I walk right next to him. Hey, boo, what's going on, bro? Like, you know, you, you think I could come to the party? So on and so forth. He looked at me for a few seconds and like nodded and walked past me. So I'm like, <laughs> nigga, what? Can I come to the party or I'm not? I'm like, was that a yes? <laughs> But you know, once you once I got to know him, I understood that yeah. that was a yes. Right. You know. Mm-hmm. So later that night, the same thing happened. Everybody was going home, twelve o'clock. I'm a little bit worried because at that point, I don't know him. I don't know if that was a, a solid yes or not. Right. So I'm still a little bit nervous. Like, damn, I have to sleep outside again. I ain't trying to do that again. You know. But he, uh, at the end of the night, he ended up calling me. He uh, called me. Called me. Uh, Baltimore, <laughs> Baltimore, go wait by the truck. So I go outside, go wait by the by the uh, by the by his Bentley truck they had at the time. Uh, I get in the truck. Well, everybody come out. He get in. He like get in. I get in the truck with him. Should we drive for like like an hour or something like that? It felt like forty minutes or something. 
And then I started seeing like palm trees. There ain't no palm trees in Atlanta, you know? So, <laughs> so I'm like, what the fuck is this? So as I'm looking, I'm like, this is, this, this is a house. Mm -hmm. Like this a house to me at the yeah. time. So, but I had seen them on Instagram a few yeah. years ago building it. Uh -huh. So I'm like, all right, if it's two B's on the gate, then this is his crib. Yeah. It's not just a crib, yeah. right? He got that nice shit. So, yeah. so I go there, it's a estate. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, he brought me to the crib. This ain't real life. Oh God, <laughs> this, this ain't, ain't real life. life. So we, we we pull up, the gate open, we we go in, everybody get out the car, boom, 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 boom. I'm still in there like this. Yeah, like nigga, what the fuck you, like. I'm like, you want me hop, you want me come in? Yeah. Like, like, how, we, how you doing? It's like, when the party start. Facts. You remember, like, I don't know. So I ended up getting out, he tell me come in. I go in, we sit in the kitchen for like, shit, hours. We sit in the kitchen, just like five in the morning, we talking. Talking, chopping it up, smoking, so on and so forth. Um. I slept there for the next mm, 10 days, nine Damn, days. That's lit. Or that's what's up. Every day we got up at, we got up at like nine. We went to set. We got home like 12 or one. Then we, we went out to a couple of shows you gotta do. Every day we, we'll we leave out at nine in the morning, we'll get back at five in the morning and do the same thing over again for nine days straight. Mm. So that was, you know, he also showed me like, how it how exhausting it can actually be to be in a position like that because mm -hmm. i know he'd be exhausted it, it's i know he'd be exhausted as much as he like on a flight only got an hour to sleep do a show get on another flight do another show maybe get on a bus to the next state like you know no nah, right so no, that's a dope story. Like yeah, that's that's just, fire. The fact that he lets you stay at his crib. Yeah, he just now like, it went from stand outside of motels and shit on the street feeding straight cats to million dollar key. You know, you're the million, you're the, you're the million dollar guy right now. You know what I'm saying? 